of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, amen. Jesus is present. Alleluia. My Eucharistic Lord, to you I lift up my eyes. Lord, we come to be in your presence, to ask for your mercy, for your love, for your compassion, for your forgiveness in anything we have done to separate ourselves from your love. The most important thing to do is to really praise you, Lord, to be grateful for your presence in our lives. At this moment when India needs you so much, Lord, when all the families need your arms, they need the charity of others to watch over their family members. We ask you in a special way tonight for your prayers. We ask for their prayers to come before you, Lord, their desires that you will bring them healing. Most importantly, you will bring your peace, a peace that floods through them, a peace that will be enable them to deal with all the pain and the suffering. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your grace in the morning, to declare your faithfulness at night, accompanied by music from the lyre and the melody of lute and harp. God of mercy and compassion, Look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father. Tis thy child we tends to. Jesus, Lord, we ask for mercy. Let us not implore in vain. All our sins we now detest them. Never will we sin again. Lord, in your silence, you draw us into the depths of your Eucharistic heart. You are ready, waiting, willing us to come before your presence. This is a veiled presence of your body and blood in your Eucharistic heart. But you are present, Lord. You are present to us now in our time of great despair. For you make me glad with your deeds, O Lord, and I sing for joy at the work of your hands. How great are your works, O Lord! How deep your thoughts! How deep your thoughts are for me right now as we gather as a family around your Eucharistic heart. Penetrate us, Jesus, with the ray of your love. Help us, Jesus. Help us in this time of our desperate need. Send your love and peace, your abundant grace, we are sorry for all that we have done as we turn our heads away from your beautiful image and from the image of your heart as it was ripped asunder on the cross. 
And yet this heart beats so wonderfully for us, calling us, saying that you will be with us in our sufferings. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity on me. Father, let me call thee Father. Tis thy child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, we ask for mercy. Let us not implore in vain. All our sins we now detest them, never will we sin again. Psalm 92, verse 13 to 14. The virtuous will flourish like palm trees, they will thrive like the cedars of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord, they will prosper in the courts of our God. We pray for India, for the people of your heart, Lord, who are suffering, heal them, strengthen them, free them from all afflictions. In these moments of silence, Lord, we bring forth our petitions. We are here before you, God, our God, who was and who is to come, who is, who was and who is to come. We trust in you, Lord, for you are our mighty Lord. You are Lord and you are true. Guide us to the dwelling place of your Eucharistic heart, the sacred heart that beats for love for each one of us. You have redeemed each one of us by your death and resurrection. And as you sit at the right hand of the Father, you have given us your Eucharistic heart to feed us, to strengthen us, to be a way to send your grace to flow on us. But we must put aside time. We must rest in your presence. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity on me. Father, let me Call thee Father, tis thy child returns to thee. Jesus Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins, I now detest them. Never will I sin again. Jesus, when I turn away my eyes from another suffering, have mercy on me. When I have taken away 
the reputation of others with lies for my own gain. Have mercy on me. When I have threatened another who thinks differently from me, have mercy on me. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, tis thy child who turns to thee. When I have taken your name in vain, Lord, have mercy on me. When I have not loved you in your name or in your presence, have mercy on me. Today I decide to love you, Jesus, as you have asked me to love you. Today I decide to act to help another person. Today I decide that I will trust you more. Today I will decide to bring you into my day before I start my day by calling your name. Jesus, my Saviour, I make these petitions. I make them for my friends and my family. I make it for those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for all those involved in looking after the sick. We pray for all the priests that minister to those who are sick and to our families to bring us comfort to bring the presence of Jesus in a tangible way, to walk alongside us. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you for sending us your ministers. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the, the time in which to pray. God of mercy, and compassion, look with pity on me. Father, let me call thee Father, tis a child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them, never will I sin again. Stay with us, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that we do not forget you. You know how easily I abandoned you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength so that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervour. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much. 
and always to be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as a poor soul, I am always searching. I want to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late and the day is coming to a close. Life passes, death, judgment, eternity, approach. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along for a while. I need you. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life and all dangers, I need you. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, tis a child we turns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins, I now detest them. Never will I sin again. Lord, in all our sufferings, you ask us to have a grateful heart. This is sometimes very hard for me because I get caught up in all that I am doing. I forget. I forget that if I call on you, you will answer. I forget that if I read the Holy Scriptures, you will make present to me and answer my questions and guide me. Your word is light and truth. You have left me the sacraments to strengthen me and yet sometimes I turn away from them. Help me, Lord, to reconnect with you, to understand what you're doing in the world. You're calling us back to repentance. You're calling us back to your suffering heart. You have shown us in your suffering that you will be with our, us in our suffering. We love you very much. And in these moments, in this time of prayer, we put forward our arms and our hands and we thank you. Thank you for being in our hearts. Thank you for being with us. You have said you will never leave us and your presence in the Eucharist is a sign it is a sign of your love. It is your presence, your willingness to be so small and yet have such a huge effect on our lives. We thank you, Lord. We praise and bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus, for your listening ear. Alleluia. Thank you for giving us a chance to pray with you through this medium. Alleluia. We thank you for the team at Shalom Media throughout the world. 
Alleluia, for bringing your presence to us online. Alleluia. We thank you for what you're doing in our hearts tonight. Alleluia. We thank you for being with us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.